But let me tell you, I did quit one of my jobs. You know, I ask myself all the time, I'm like, I can't keep doing this. I'm, I'm working like 17 hour days here. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth Cabin. Have a bunch of stuff going out today, like usual. Have a pretty good eclectic mix, like usual. Have some small items, have some, well, I'll tell you what. Have you ever regretted selling something or at least looked at it, you're like, you hear the cha-ching and you're like, awesome. And then you're like, oh, I wish it wouldn't have sold today <laughs> because it's gonna take some work to package some things up. And I have a mistake that I made with a YouTube viewer that bought something. I sent him the wrong thing, so I've gotta fix that. And I've got a few things research-wise I've been doing. I got a lot of stuff going on in here. Let's take a look. All right, here's that item that I'm talking about that I kind of regret, to be honest with you. Or at least I regret it selling right now. I almost didn't buy it. It's from a sale, if I can remember the name, but she crushed me at these garage sales. I can't remember exactly. Maybe I'll put it up here as a picture somewhere over here, over here. And this one I bought, and I remember when I was buying, I'm like, you know, I just, I don't think I'm going to buy it. <laughs> And I ended up doing it because she just threw it. Well, I didn't throw it in, but she said five bucks. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll take it home for five bucks. Somebody will buy it. And I think I put it out there maybe $75 or best offer. And did I get 60 for it, I think, plus shipping? And I got to go look at my list there. But I think that's right because I took a best offer. MD8 old school PB mixer. And it's a bear. And it's pretty heavy. It's pretty flat, so that should be no problem, but it's really long here on both sides. It's definitely going FedEx. I think it's only going to maybe Maryland, so it's not that far of a travel. I don't have the right box, so we'll have to Franken box. We'll have to create a box for this one. Might in a double box would be ideal for something like this, but I think I'm going, I don't know that I even have something I can double box unless I Franken box too, like create, you know, make a box for this, and then make another box to box it in, which is quite a bit of work for, you know, $40, $45, or whatever it is. But, you know, sometimes you do this, sometimes I try to avoid it, but I figured this was worth it. It's probably a half an hour's worth of work to make 40 bucks, so I guess I'm okay with that. Now, hey, there's one thing here that I just remembered from my buddy there who made me my little flag back here. You know, sometimes you don't have to necessarily double box. You can put stuff in inside of a box that works as a double box and he gets these mike the right chair reseller he says he gets these from the fabric store and there you go and they just wrap it around there and he uses these and puts them on the inside in the right strategic locations and then he doesn't have to necessarily double box so he's the gentleman who made me that so thank you mike there you go and this is going to be i don't know i might shut the video off and package it up here but it's a decent little profit, I suppose. It was sold as is. If you've been watching the show lately, you'll notice that I have run, been running a few more auctions than I typically do, especially when the item is something that I don't want to do the research on. And that's saying something, because I usually like to pinch pennies out of sales, but some things just aren't worth it, especially if it's not my thing. And this is kind of cool stuff. I love Boy, Boy Scout stuff. But there are some... You see the Yu-Gi-Oh cards back over there. If you If you follow us on Instagram... I just don't even want to dive into that. I just want to do a video, post it on an eBay listing, and say, all right, here y'all. <laughs> you make the money off of these. I'll make my cut. You make your cut. So, And those actually came from uh, Richard, and that was one of our consignments. So technically, there's a bunch of cuts going a bunch of different ways. This one was from the Unexpected Jackpot sale. Love that sale. One of my favorites. It was a just total accident, really that we ended up there, just kind of a whim on a Friday, I decided to go that way to one sale as opposed to that way to four. <laughs> and boy, did it pay off. So at any rate, this one was an auction. Uh, there's not a whole bunch. And I think a couple of them are plain Jane, a couple of them are cool. And they sold for $21.50 plus shipping. They sold to a viewer, and I'm gonna read this note to you real quick. And I believe it's Kimberly. So thanks so much for these great items. Many of these will be moving to a good home. In fact, some already have homes. 
this may be, I can't remember. There's a Facebook group that does this and there's somebody who contacted me. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, moving them to great homes or, or whatnot. Tell me in the comments or send me an email. I love your videos and my Animan army <laughs> sits on my shelves. As a fellow teacher, although a science teacher, not history, I appreciate the amount of time that running a part-time eBay store, running a YouTube channel, and having a family must take. Keep up the amazing work. So, yes, you know, and I don't complain about that because nobody's making me do YouTube, right? Um, I've done eBay for a long time. It's how we make it. That's a necessity. But nobody makes me do YouTube. I just enjoy it, and there's obviously revenue coming in from it as well now, which is amazing, different ways, and you guys have supported us, so thank you. But let me tell you, I did quit one of my jobs. You know, I ask myself all the time, I'm like, I can't keep doing this. I'm, I'm working like 17-hour days here. I gotta have to slow down, you know, and, and not that being with my kids is work. That's why you see my kids in here, because I get to spend time with them here, too. We do other things, too, don't get me wrong. But at some point, I got to slow down a little bit here as school is ramping back up uh, in person school and, the, you know, the kind of luxury I've had as a teacher in some ways. It's been awful in some ways. But at any rate, I have been if you've been watching the show, I have been a baseball coach for many, 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 many years. I've been either part of a team on a team, part of multiple teams, coaching a team on a team, coaching multiple teams for really since I was five. And this is going to be the first year where I do not coach a baseball team. So that part of my life I have sacrificed and I'm going to enjoy watching. I'm getting a little emotional here. I'm going to, <laughs> when you do something for as long as I've done that, and it's been that part of my life for a long time, not doing it is, is tough. But I'm going to enjoy watching, hopefully, cross our fingers, watching my oldest boy's last uh, baseball season as a senior in high school cross our fingers if we can get this thing off and rolling so anyway thank you very much for the kind words and kimberly kimberly thank you many of you will be very happy this thing is finally gone i get so many comments like oh that thing is just creepy and get rid of that thing i'm tired of looking at that thing so it is gone this is not the last one we have one more from that i think outside the box sale love that sale too this was from a sale that people have been there i think for three days before i showed up and I'm like, how do people miss this stuff? And these vintage, this is uh, my joy here. And these rabbits, we, we made a ton of money on them. I think we paid like $2 a piece, some less. And this one sold for 60 plus shipping. And I think I have a perfect box. It's shaped like a, a rabbit coffin. <laughs> oh, I better not say that. He might come back and get me. This one came from Richard the Storage Guy. These are really heavy, these old receivers, Techniques. And this one sold for 50 plus shipping. And that's a pretty good deal. We've almost made, actually with this sale, we've already made our money back. And we are in the profit on Richard's stuff. We have done two consignments with Richard as well. That traveling stick. And uh, we're going to do one on the Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. I don't want to forget to mention this in the kindness of a viewer really quick before I pick up the camera and show you a few more things that sold back here. And this went to Carl. Part of our 12 days of Christmas sales that are winding down. And I'll give you a total of that money and then the plan. Well, I might not tell you the entire plans. We've given some of it away already, but we're going to give uh, some more of it away to some charities and to some local folks and a few other little tricks we have up our sleeve on the Commonwealth Picker channel. So I am so happy that I won your first edition autographed coffee cup. I started following your YouTube channel that time you purchased all of those vintage stuffed animals at the barn sale. This coffee cup, I'm assuming, I don't think you're talking about the one that, that we just pulled that rabbit out from. I think you're talking about the Mount Plushmore sale. I think. This coffee cup is going to go into my new eBay workspace. I had purchased a 48, okay, you're the person that sent me that message, a 48 foot container that I'm fixing up for eBay uh, work. Thank you for all the YouTube videos that you put out, and a happy new year to you, your wife, your daughter, your son. Stay safe out there. So thank you, Carl. And I have seen your pictures on Instagram of that container, and I can't wait to see the final product. So thank you. And this is going to go to a good cost, $49 plus shipping. So extremely generous of you. We really do appreciate it. I think we have three more things here, and then a couple things inside as well. First item is, thank goodness, I love it when these things are gone because this bucket is getting full. Mostly pants and different stuff like this. This is a pair of men's Under Armour golf pants. Right 
right there. And these sold for 15, I think, plus shipping. They were part of a huge lot that we are not very much into. It's all profit at this point. And it's got a little dust, so I'm gonna have to clean that off. Next item is another Boy Scout lot auction. And I didn't write this down on that sheet. We're keeping track of that unexpected jackpot sale. And I need to really quick. I think this was the big lot. I think. And this one sold for $49 plus shipping. $42 plus shipping. $42. Plus shipping and I'm gonna have to total that up so 21 and then 42 so let's say that that's gonna be about about 53 54 dollar profit on those two we'll add that to our list that puts us at 1500 even profit well not profit because I got to minus the cost but other than that it's profit next item is a set of books and I think it's these two right here and these are also going to be pure profit because we made a ton of money from this little sale. I'm glad I picked these up too because they went for $11 plus shipping. I debated about these, but I'm like, yeah, we're going to do really good on these. Just uh, throw an extra, you know, $8 profit in there. Turner, we have a homeschool hustler store sale from Cassandra. This is a viewer who bought this. What is that right there? Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. You got it. It cost it 50 cents and it sold for 10 bucks free shipping. So we'll make right around $5 on it. And would you say thank you to Cassandra? Thank you, Cassandra. I, I can't say it. <laughs> Cassandra. Cassandra. And what movie is that? What What did you tell me about him? Um, you said he's the guy, I can't remember his name, he's the guy who loves what? Money. He's the guy who loves money. he has money. red stuff on Scrooge. But by the end of the video, he was very generous to people, yes. wasn't he? And she's being generous to us, isn't yep. she? That's nice, huh? And, and she's spending her stimulus money, she said, on, on this. Yeah, go ahead. He is like Mr. Krabs because he wears <laughs> red stuff, red clothes, <laughs> and he loves money. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Oh, you're funny, buddy. I guess you're right. You know what? And we shouldn't be... You know, I had a friend at school tell me they were trying to encourage everybody to give 1% of their stimulus check to a charity. So that would be like six bucks to St. Jude. What do you think? Maybe we should do that for this one. Sure. Okay. All right, buddy. You get a dollar to... Save, donate, and spend. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Bye. By the way, this is the item that I... Well, this is the item I should have shipped <laughs> to a viewer. I think I sent the Bob Cratchit one. The Mickey, Mickey's Christmas Carol Mickey instead of this one. So this one's headed your way. Sorry about that. A couple of cream backgammon pieces. Six dollars free shipping. This one's from Bubba's Closet. So, American Eagle stuff doesn't, you know, necessarily sell really good. Usually, unless you sell it in lots and stuff. But this is a nice jacket, and apparently, Blue Ridge Mama knew that it would sell for eighteen dollars plus shipping. So, I'm pretty happy with that one for sure, especially for an American Eagle product. All right, have an animug going out to Mark, and I normally do these out there with my daughter, but I'm gonna read this one because it was directed towards me. It's going to Mark from Costa Mesa out there. So, Kevin, love the videos. You might not remember me. Played golf at Waterman. I've talked about that, I think, just one time on this show. So you must have been watching for a while. And practiced uh, at the Collegiate Private uh, Practice Range. The only thing private that I didn't have to pay for. There you go. I was super poor, <laughs> similar to you. Carol Thomas was one of our golf instructors, question mark. Played with you and your brother when you were super young. And I don't remember, Mark, so my apologies. My brother probably would remember, but, you know, that's... <laughs> he remembers a heck of a lot more than I do. I played and practiced a lot with Brandy. She played on the LPGA Tour. I'm pretty sure you won't remember, but I thought I'd throw my memory in my message to you, Mark. So, Mark, uh, I do remember a lot. You know, I remember playing at, uh, at Waterman and playing at uh, Crafton. And we used to get in the bus... Me and my brother, with our golf clubs, we'd get in a bus <laughs> and go play. We'd, when we'd sneak off, we'd do whatever we could to, to see if we could play a little golf here and there. So, And let me tell you, that was not the greatest golf course in the world. Mm. At any rate, thank you for jogging my memory. That's very kind of you. And I uh, miss my days in California for sure. So he's headed your way, and we hope he gets things moving for you. All right, we'll head back out there for some CommonwealthPicker.com store sales. That one, I think we had two more, I think, something like that. Maybe three, I can't remember. And uh, hopefully you've already seen the Homeschool Hustler store sale. So thank you all for joining us. And I have not, hey, by the way, that big item I said at the beginning, 
I didn't package it yet because I came in here just hoping there was a number seven box box. The box that the USPS ships the number seven boxes in. And I grabbed it and took it out there and it fits snugly, perfectly for the first box. So then we'll have to figure out something to put a little extra padding in there. But that should make my life a little easier. Hope you all are having a wonderful day and your sales are great. And we'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Reagan and today I'm going to be showing you what sold out of the Commonwealth Picker Store. First we have Calvin. He got a CWP mug. And he also got a in a mug. And the in a mugs, um, they're going to be limited edition and they're selling out really quick, but once they're all gone, they're not going to be put back in the store. But the Commonwealth Picker Mug, they will be out in the store forever. Then we have Mike. He got a in a mug and an in a man. Then we have Gary. He got just an in man. Then we have Kendra. She got a CWP sticker. And she said, Hi, lovely family from Colorado. We watch you all the time. I am a reseller on eBay also. Take care, Kendra. This is her eBay store name. That's it. Bye. And don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, I want to show you a gift really quick. This one's from Venezuela. I absolutely love this one. I just love those plain ones with the good contrasting colors. And that one's going to go back here on our little foreign shelf somewhere. So thank you so much. And that one, a South Florida picker right there, Harold Montgomery. So Happy New Year. I'm sending you a Venezuela license plate, 1982-1995. Hope it's your first one from Venezuela. It absolutely is. I bought it about 25 years ago in Florida, or excuse me, in Fort Lauderdale at a garage sale. And I think it would look great in the cabin. Well, that is very kind of you. You know, my uh, great-grandmother is down there from South Florida. Actually, she's from Cuba and lived in Key West for a while. And then we have some family down there that I don't know very well. Cuban family down there in South Florida. So, All right, here we go. This is something I want to show you. Here is a misfit in a mug. Can you see how the feet there are near the bottom and it's blue instead of green? So we got a misfit in a mug, and I asked Dragon if I could sell it. If she'd give it to me out of her store. See how those are green? Or at least greener. So I figured we'd put a nice little thing together here. We'd put in a regular Animan, not a Misfit. And the Misfit in a mug. Both stickers. And then both of our little stickers. And we do a little auction. I gotta be the first one there. Not the last one there. I gotta be the first one there.